Hey guys, I know it's been a minute since I did a video, but um, so this wig that I made, I want to show you guys the problem with this. Um, I'm not going to be on camera because I did something with my hair and I need to decide if I like it or not. Anyway, so this wig, the reason why I have it backwards on here is because it's a lot wrong with this wig. I just made this wig, um, not last week, not this past week. Uh, let me tell y'all. I'm going to keep talking. Anyways. So I gave it to my client. It's been a week. She had it installed on Friday and the person who installed it fucked it up. The point in this video is hairdresser, wig maker, or person who, you know, you don't not hair. Listen, no matter what your job is, I don't care what the fuck you make. If you don't know how to do something that's in your field, it's okay to say, I don't know how to do that. But let me refer you to X, Y, Z. Or if you work in a shop per se, because you went to the shop. Well, I don't do it, but this person does it. Do that. Don't sit here and blame me or blame someone else who did something because she said, oh, I made it too small. No. So wait, I gave this to her on the 3rd and I picked it up on the 12th. Today's the 15th. I mean, yeah, today's 15th, it's 12 a.m. Um, anyway, so I have the back pinned. I have the back pinned to where the nape is. This is going to be the beginning. I'm going to do the whole little quick series of me repairing a wig I just made that's only been out of my hands for a little over seven days. Um, seven, eight, nine days, exactly. So if I pull this, because I know how much space it should be. It should have some space in here. Um, if I pull this all the way to the front, this is way too tight. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's too tight. It's just going to slide back and it's not going to stay like this on her head. It's just going to the, the front, the bottom would do the same thing what the front is doing. Um, I'm going to probably do it to about right here. Anyways, I know the hairline looks a little funny because it's the opposite side. Um, and I'll show you that. Oh, but man, my hands look crazy. That's from purple shampoo. But yeah, so she... Also, she's another person who did not use glue. Then it kind of looks bald. I don't know. There's some spots in here that's missing. And then there's a hole. I don't know how there's holes in this. Like, you would have thought this went through war. It's not the same wig. Um, and I have not recorded. I mean, I have videos and stuff of the wig. I mean, I definitely would show it. I would put a clip or something in this while I'm talking. So you guys can see. Um, yeah, it looks kind of baldish. And then the reason why I was doing this is because the way she glued it, I'm probably going to have to cut some of this. Um, okay. So she said I made it too small. So when I pull this wig to where the hairline is in the front, for one, I feel like my ear tabs on the sides are not lining up properly. Um, and it's kind of hard to line this stuff up properly. Um... I put this on the hairline in the front. It kind of looks like it's almost the same, but then it's not. Because, like, this piece is too far out right here to where the middle is. Like, it's not lining up. And it's hard to make it line up because of the way this damn hairline is. And when I look at it, I know how I knotted this. So when I did the hairline, I was skipping holes. There is, it's like she cut most of the hairline off because I did about maybe half an inch, especially in the front part. And then like it's curved. It's like curved right here. I didn't do like a curve like that. I did it where it's like here, here. It's like kind of boxed out. She curved it out. And then what she did on with the client, she said she put the wig on her and then took it off and started cutting. She should have glued the wig on with the lace still on. She started cutting this. This is um, Swiss lace, a real Swiss lace. This is not Korean lace. Like, my client is white. Um, so she needs lace that's going to blend. And there's still glue in there. You see that? That's still glue. Oh, you guys just saw my beard. Yeah, my beard's lightened. Anyways, um, and my beard. I wish I had a beard. My goatee. But yeah, there's still glue in this. Uh, it's going to probably get cut out. Um... I don't, and she, she was combing it with a rat tail comb. Like, this is single strand, single knot. So, if you're combing it from the root, and it's going to be pulling hair out. 
this is just the beginning. Um, yeah. So I'm going to have to add a new front. So what's going to do, I have to obviously add a new front to this wig. Um, this is the inside. This is, oops, let me show you. <laughs> this is the inside. Uh, obviously there's some darts in it. So, you know, form to the canvas head. Um, all this is hand stitch. Everything is handmade, hand knotted, hand bleached. But I'm gonna have to add a whole new front. Um, I probably will be cutting some off of this old front. We will see. Um, it's a hole right here that you guys can clearly see that I don't know where the hell this came from. Where? Like, where the hell that, hell, that hole came from? I don't know, guys, but this is a wig I just made. And when I left on my hands, um, hell, it went to hell when it went to that stylist's hands. This is just part one. Um, like I said, I will insert the clips that I have that I was sending to my client um, of this wig so you guys can see what it looked like in its original state. Um, this was already made to be lightweight. So, yeah. That's probably why it looks like it's a lot bald. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's me going to add a new front. It's probably going to... Um, I'll probably do like an inch of a new front. I have to fill up the top. It's not going to take me too long. Um, I was supposed to still work on it, but I was doing my own hair. But shit happens. But I did want to, you know, start this first part before I actually forget. And I have a habit of doing that. I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. But hey. Anyways... Saying hello. I'll keep you posted with the next video. Peace. Okay, hey guys. So I just want to show. Let me put on this so you can see. So I had to cut off some edge of the lace. Um, it fits weird. It's like not fitting right. And I don't know how she cut this. Like I was trying to align it to where it was used to be before, but I don't know. Something's weird. I don't know what the hell. And, I mean, I could have pulled it down just a smidge more, but no, nah, this is should be enough. Like, it's not going to be um, as bad. I know this side. I might have to move this ear tab. Uh, I'm annoyed with that. But, um, and I think I actually whipped over it. So, we'll see how that's going to be fixed. But I have to fill in all this. And then I just probably get some alcohol. Because I cut some of this off. Um... And there's still glue. See, you can see where I cut. Um, I don't want to cut too far because I don't want the whipping that I did to come loose. I mean, even though I'm going to do single strands around there, then I have to go through the top. But I just wanted to show you where I'm at. We're adding the front. Yeah, the, a lot of this hair was just it's coming out too because of the glue. But this is going to be fun. But yeah, this is where we're at right now. But, yep. Refronting a brand new wig. And then it just looks kind of bold on the top. So I'm just only going to do the top part just to fill it in. And it shouldn't take me too long. But, yep. Just showing y'all what's going on. Okay. I'm sorry that my TV's loud. I don't feel like getting up and turn it down. But, so, obviously, let me focus. You can see where I'm doing the knots here. Focus, camera. The hell are you doing? Autofocus. There we go. So obviously right here, I'm doing the knots. Um, obviously I did the hairline again. And then you can see the difference. Granted, there's still a good amount of hair in here. But I'm just doing every row, skipping holes. I mean, it's going to probably be thicker on the top. And I have to go back and bleach these knots too. Um, There is definitely hair missing in certain spots. Let me see if I turn this flash off. There we go. I forgot I had my ring light on. But, um, yeah, I have to bleach these knots. I just pray that these knots that are already bleached don't, you know, break off. But I only did one level bleach with 10 volume that I let sit. But if it does come off, it comes off. There's going to be hair in place of it anyway. Um, but yeah. This will be, and I'm doing two strands per hole too. Whatever. Okay, so this is it. Um, I just have to bleach the knots on this, and actually then she's done. Well, I have to also do... I forgot. I have to do, like, a little tiny, tiny, like, blended weave highlight in the front. 
because this is not it's like kind of dark so I just got to do one little piece but I added all this in here and I added it to extend out some just in case you know for whoever hairdresser or whatever who does it but 